How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Steel Rising, my 100% walkthrough. Uh, so this guide will get you all the items in the game and the Platinum Trophy. So we are starting out here, going to be creating a new game. And we are not doing assist mode. So... I am going to be skipping the cinematics um, in this playthrough. Uh, if you would like to watch the cinematics, you can certainly do that on another video or um, in your own playthrough. Okay, so character creation. I think I'm going to keep her like that. Different hair this time. And keep the default. And we are doing a strength build on this playthrough. So I believe we are going to start off with uh, the soldier class so that we get a jump on power for increased uh, physical damage. Um, so here we go. Okay. So if this is your first uh, Souls game, um, controls will be up on the screen in a second. Here they are. Pretty standard in a Souls game for those type of controls. That oil um, beret is for our uh, refillable heals uh, that we get when we rest at uh, resting spots, which we'll, we will be coming up on shortly. So that was mostly light attacks. That was a heavy. Okay. And should be another guy, yeah. That is the special attack. The charged R2 has a good amount of reach. And has good impact damage, as you can see, which knocks the enemy down. So the all chemical capsules are what we use to um, pretty much ammunition. Um, they are a staple basically of a alchemy build um, and like, there we go we get a key from that guy and there is an item right over here essence lesser spirit so basically those if anybody has played dark souls or if not uh, basically that item can be used to um, level up your character and the lower right of the screen is my anima essence that I gained from defeating foes and give me an item and these uh, boxes and barrels uh, you can break um, there are often items in them like that the ordinary oil vials are consumable healing items. I'll put those on my hotbar as well. Okay, we got that stuff. So we are going over here for our resting spot. 
So, explaining the Vestals, you can upgrade your attributes, your equipment, and obtain equipment. Uh, there is a boutique in the Vestals, which are pretty nice. Later on, we will get access to something else that the boutique has uh, better items. So, resting there. And there is a guy down here. So, you can do. I missed it, but <laughs> you can do jump attacks. Very effective. Um, the original Dark Souls uh, did not have. Uh, a dedicated jump button, so it is very nice to actually have that. Now you can get sneak attacks on these guys if you time it right. Now, there should be two guys over here. Yep, and they're both coming for me. Yeah, at this point in the game, um, being that I chose the soldier class, uh, I have less, whoops, I have less health. Um, Okay, now this is for the rapid cooling. Uh, if anybody's played Neo, this is like heat pulsing. I didn't do that at the right time. Okay, got my stamina back there. Okay. So you have to hit triangle um, at the correct time, or whatever platform you're playing on, the corresponding button, to get most of your stamina back. There is a our first chest right here. Okay. So gonna put on the hat for a little more defense. So there are several trophies in the game uh, to obtain your platinum. Um, there are a number of ones related to side quests, as well as uh, as well as combat trophies. Yep, knew that other guy was gonna come for me. So once I get enough to, um, actually I don't think I finished my sentence with the uh, the anima essence. So basically those those items here we can do a sneak attack here. So with those items that you get the lesser spirits and whatnot, uh, they can be they are consumables that you can use to gain more anima essence. Uh, so that you can uh, buy items or, uh, you know, if you're close to a level um, and you want to use those to obtain that level, you can do that. That's typically what I do. Save them up for if I want to buy things or if I want to, uh, if I'm missing a level by a little bit. Those sandbags in the trees have items, so keep an eye out for those. Um, there are items uh, scattered everywhere in the game uh, like that, uh, in barrels and everything. Uh, so let's see, yeah, the second module slot is locked for right now until we get another module key. Uh, module keys are... Um, used to unlock these slots to um, gain uh, additional uh, abilities um, and things to help you in battle. Okay, 
So we're coming up on the first mini boss here. The Swiss Guard killed by the automats that replaced them. Well, note here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run right by this guy. And we are going to pick up a new weapon. So this is a frost musket. It is pretty handy. Um, the elemental effects in this game are uh, pretty disgusting. Uh, they do a lot of damage. Not going to use it on this guy, but I will use it. certainly use it on that boss, considering I have lower health. here. What did that? I missed an item. Now the granite cobblestone I was mentioning uh, trophies related to combat. Uh, there is a trophy for defeating an enemy with cobblestone. Um, it basically you can throw it at enemies to pull them. Um, so if you use that item you can basically get an enemy's health low enough and then pull out a cobblestone and throw, you know, however many it takes to kill that enemy off. So the, the killing blow needs to be with the the cobblestone. Okay, so a little tutorial about the alchemical effects. Uh, so flame ignites, uh, freezes, and then electrocutes. So with when you're under these afflictions, um, you can extinguish the flame by dodging. Uh, fire really hurts in this game. Um, you can uh, quickly spam attacks to try and get out of being frozen. And electrocution, you can stop the electrocution by an, uh, an insulation elixir. Um, and when you're under the fulmination uh, or lightning affliction, you take actually take more damage so it's actually kind of dangerous nice charge heavy It's actually advisable to pull this guy in this cave because there are another two enemies out there. That can join the party. You have the same idea as me, I guess. It's teaching you about module keys. Like I said, module keys unlock those slots and uh, also upgrade the slots because there are different grades of modules. Okay, and we have enough to level up here. So, in the upgrades menu, you can upgrade your uh, attributes. Um, as you can see here, power increases our special move damage um, and physical damage. Um, the durability affects our health and uh, balance. Balance is like uh, poise, um, and you're like from Dark Souls, and it uh, signifies your ability to get knocked over from an from an attack. So the higher you balance, uh, you're gonna um, kind of stay up and not get knocked down. Uh, vigor affects your critical hit multiplier and endurance. 
uh, engineering effects here. Affliction multiplier, which is um, how long uh, enemies stay um, afflicted with elemental status, um, as well as armor and your loot multiplier. Uh, elemental alchemy um, improves your resistance to those elemental states and agility uh, which is when I, what I went with in the Let's Play series. Uh, increases physical damage as well, special move damage, and immobilization, which is that little di uh, diamond meter um, in the center of an enemy when you lock onto them. If it fills up, uh, they slump over and you can get a critical attack. So here we are going to get a little more health and the module key, unlock that slot. Uh, can't do anything with our weapons yet. And for the modules, we are going to also get a little more health with the longevity module. So our health is looking a bit better. Um, like I said, there are a couple guys over here. One right there. And there's an item over here. And there's also... Guy right there. Okay, so we got the chest over here. So heading back out over here. Um, going to continue on this way. Oh, that's right, we rested. So we gotta take up this guy again. Okay. So there are, again, going back to the trophies, uh, there is a trophy for killing. This door will open later. Uh, don't worry about that right now. Um, there are trophies for uh, killing 25 enemies with a grenade. Again, the final blow would have to be uh, a grenade. I would recommend flame or explosive, um, having the most damage. And you have to electrocute enemies a uh, hundred times, you have to freeze enemies a hundred times, and you have to ignite enemies a hundred times. Um, as I mentioned, there's a trap up here. As I mentioned, uh, there is several story related. Yeah, these guys blow fire. And there are other variants that blow, uh, um, do an electrocution attack as well as a uh, freezing attack. Um, see a lot of those guys around. Um, these guys both aggro at the same time. Adding to our stockpile of alchemical capsules and oil vials. There we go. In here we have the Nemesis Clause. A uh, very handy weapon for agility builds. Uh, once you level them up, they get uh, S scaling in um, agility, which is pretty nice. So we just got the compass. Oops. I'm gonna put that there. Uh, so with the compass, you can see your the riverbank is just beyond this wood. 
your objectives. Uh, if you switch off of it, the marker goes away. So it's kind of, I kind of like that. It's kind of a clean uh, UI uh, setup there. Um, there is a note up here, um, I believe. Actually, I think it's down below me. There's a, um, you can see this kind of goes higher um, and you will be able to get up there later in the game. Okay. Right. For us to the next Vestal. I am going to go with health again. Be going with that a little bit more and kind of alternating that and endurance for a little bit. another one of these guys that we just fought. Watch out for those cannons. Yeah, if their uh, enemies are behind uh, objects and stuff like that, it makes it a little hard to get the uh, critical attack. Okay, in here we have our Lavoisier Catalyst. This improves the oil beret, uh, gives you more charges for, uh, for your heals. There are also uh, items called uh, subliminators that will increase your the effectiveness of your heals. We've got those on an upcoming area. Now this is a trap. You can see right there. If you would have ran over to that chest, you would have jumped on your head. These guys, these guys, girls, whatever they are, are notorious for uh, traps. They hang from trees, they hide behind stuff. Um, you just need to watch out for that. I, ca I can't tell you how many times they do it during the game. It's it's uh, it's pretty relentless, honestly. Falchion and Saber, another good uh, agility weapon. I use that a lot in the Let's Play. Uh, no, actually, I'm thinking of another. Oh yeah, there is, actually.
there was a sandbag right here. There is item in here. Now the game is hinting to you, um, giving you fulmination resistance files. Uh, there is a mini boss over here um, that uh, does fulmination or lightning damage. So, let's hop on down. See, pretty weak to frost. Now that, when he does that, when he stabs it into the ground like that, he will do a counter attack if you go to attack him. Uh, so be mindful of that. Uh, several enemies in the game can do that. Uh, can do a counter attack slash parry on you if you're not careful. There's an item in here. As well, there is an item over on the other side, I think. In fact, two items, I believe. Yep, right there. And right there. Okay, so let's hop in the boat. and going to Lay Invalid. So, uh, there is a Vestal um, pretty much right through the doors over here. Um, we will get there in the next video, uh, but that is it for now for the first video. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.